Yahusha Joshua 9. And it came to pass, when all the kings which were on this side of the Yardan, in the hills and in the valleys, and in all the coasts of the great sea, over against Lebanon, the Chiti and the Emori, the Kena'ani, the Perazi, the Chivi, and the Yevuchi, heard thereof that they gathered themselves together to fight with Yahusha and with Yashar'el with one accord. And when the inhabitants of Givon heard eth what Yahusha had done unto Yericho and to Ai, they did work willily and went and made as if they had been amb ambassadors. Rather, they did work wily and went and made as if they had been ambassadors and took old sacks upon their asses and wineskins, old and rent and bound up and old shoes and clouded upon their feet and old garment, garments upon them. And all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy. And they went to El Yahusha unto the camp at Gilgal, and said unto him, and to the men of Yashar'el, We have come from a far country. Now therefore cut ye a covenant with us. And the men of Yashar'el said unto the Chivim, Chivim, Perchance ye dwell among us, and how shall we cut a covenant with you? And they said unto El Yahusha, We are your servants. And Yahusha said unto them, Who are you? Rather, who are ye? And from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country your servants are come, because of the name of Yahuwah, Eloheke. For we have heard the fame of him, and eth all that he did in Mitzrayim, and eth all that he did to the two kings of the Emorim, that they were beyond the Yardan, to Sihan, king of Chesban, and to Og, king of Bashan, which was at Ashtaroth. Wherefore, our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spoke to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants. Therefore, now cut ye a covenant with us, rather, covenant with us, This our bread we took hot for our provision out of our houses on the day we came forth to go unto you. But now, behold, it is dry and it is moldy. And these wineskins which we filled were new. And behold, they be rent. And these our garments and our shoes are become old by reason of the very long journey. And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at, at the mouth of Yahuwah. And Yahusha made peace with them and cut a covenant with them to let them live and the princes of the assembly swore unto them. And it came to pass at the end of three days, after they had cut a covenant with them, that they heard that they were their neighbors, and that they dwelt among them. And the children of Yashar'el journeyed, 
and came unto their cities on the third day. Now, their cities were Givan and Kefirra and Be'erot and Kiryat Ya'arim. And the children of Yashedael smote them not, because the princes of the assembly had sworn unto them by Yahuwah Elohim, rather Elohim of Yashereel. And all the assembly murmured against the princes. But all the princes said unto all the assembly, We have sworn unto them by Yahuwah Elohim of Yashereel. Now therefore, we may not touch them. This we will do to them. We will even let them live, lest wrath be upon us, because of the oath which we swore unto them. And the princes said unto them, Let them live, but let them be hewers of wood and drawers of water unto all the assembly as the princes had promised them. And Yahusha called for them, and he spoke unto them, saying, Wherefore have ye beguiled us, saying, We are very far from you, when ye dwell, dwell amongst us, rather, when ye dwell among us. Now therefore ye are cursed, and there shall none of you be freed from being bondmen, and hewers of wood, and drawers of water, for the house of my Elohim. And they answered at Yahusha and said, Because it was certainly told your servants, eth, how that Yahuwah Eloheka commanded his servant, eth Moshe, to give you eth all the land, and to destroy Eth all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Therefore we were sore afraid of our lives because of you, and have done Eth this thing. And now, behold, we are in your hand, as it seems good and right unto you, to do unto us, do and so did he unto them, and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Yashar'el, that they slew them not. And Yahusha made them that day hewers of wood and drawers of water for the assembly, and for the altar of Yahuwah. Even unto this day, in the place which he should choose.